Hi folks, it's Sunday the 26th of January 2020, it's about a quarter to nine in the morning and I'm going to top up my bird feeders then I'm going to go inside and spend an hour counting the birds that come to my garden for the RSPB Big Garden Bird Watch. Right, so I've come back inside and as you can see we've already got quite a few visitors. Um, got a couple of wood pigeons, just had a oh, uh, between half a dozen and a dozen starlings. We've had uh, several house sparrows, we've had a dunnock, I've just seen a blue tit on the bushes there. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, better just might write those down. I've got my pencil and paper here, so uh, let's do that. As you can see, uh, the bird table has seen better days. <laughs> might have to think about replacing that soon, but it's still doing a job. It's very rustic. Nice male house sparrow there. That wood pigeon just loves sitting on that post. Does it for hours at times. Magpie picking up some of the dried mealworms. So that's a, a wider angle view from the kitchen window. One of the things which certainly attracted me to this house when we first came to view it was the fact that the kitchen window looks straight down the garden and uh, it's proved its worth over the years lots of good sightings and got quite a lot of decent photos so uh, yeah when you go to look for a house look for one that's got a kitchen window that faces down the garden got a couple of great tits in the bush at the back and I think they're about to come onto one of the feeders or one of them maybe thinking about it If you blinked, you missed it. That was a bit better. It's so the thing with great tits and blue tits, they'll land on the feeder, grab a seed, and fly away and go and eat it in the bush. Whereas house sparrows, and when we used to get them, goldfinches, they would land on the feeder and just sort of tuck in at the feeder and stay there for a while until uh, they got fed up or someone pushed them out the way but not great tits and blue tits Just in out and eat it in the bush one of the magpies is back it's hoovering up some of the dried mealworms my wife loves magpies she says she loves them because they're so naughty. Uh, I guess she's right, they can be quite mischievous. I don't know whether you can hear that. I've moved my microphone around slightly and opened the window. There's crows and magpies were just making a racket two or three gardens away or probably up on the rooftop actually but out of my line of sight a 
There's a crow cawing away. And a blue tip chattering away as well. sounds of nature are something that I do like to encourage people to pay attention to partly because your your eyesight works through no more than 180 degrees at any given moment whereas your hearing if it's any good you know you, you can hear things from 360 de degrees in all directions so uh, if you get to know your nature sounds it can give you good clues as to what's about Yeah, Robin ticking away, unhappy about something. Blue tick call. See, bird table might be a bit knackered and rustic, but it's still serving a good purpose. Well, the hour is up, the big garden bird watch is done. Um, I'm going to review some of my footage and just uh, make sure I've got my starling count right, and uh, then I'll uh, be submitting my results to the RSPB. Their big garden bird watch is the biggest citizen science project in the UK, and uh, if you haven't taken part this year, then I definitely encourage you to do it next year. Uh, it's usually sort of late January, early February time. So um, have a look on their website near the time and I'm sure they'll be publishing information about next year's. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you've watched this, like it, subscribe and share it with your friends. Alright, thanks guys. I'm Graham Wallace and this has been Naturally Curious UK. Right, well, here are my handwritten tallies for what I saw during the hour. By the time you watch this, I'll have uploaded these to the RSPB. If you also did the Big Garden Bird Watch, then feel free to share your own results in the comments below. I'd love to know what you saw. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I look forward to welcoming you back soon to Naturally Curious UK.